<laughs> Howdy! Welcome to the Whiskey Butler. I'm your host, Wesley Butler, here to serve you a little whiskey wisdom. We are back at Town Center Market with Ted Spiropoulos, and we're talking barrel picks again. But today, we're talking Four Roses. Um, so, Ted, uh, you've got a lot of barrel picks going on here at Town Center Market. We do, yeah. Which number was the Four Roses? Uh, so... This Four Roses barrel pick was my third one, um, and it was obviously Four Roses barrel picks are highly coveted. That was a really one, one yeah, it went very fast. So, very fast. so highly coveted, like from people wanting to make barrel picks, or highly coveted by the customers? By the I should clarify, yes, by the customers. Okay, it so it went fast, it's gone. Really, yeah, it's oh gone. wow, a matter so, of days, <laughs> in a matter of days, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so, uh, okay, so, so we'll get back to that. But um, so why did you decide to go with Four Roses on number three? Well, um, first of all, thank you to Four Roses for uh, supporting us and our business. Um, as I've, you know, gotten into more into the uh, whiskey world, uh, you know, Four Roses is a uh, barrel picks are very sought after, very coveted uh, really? barrel picks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Customers seem to respond very well to them and, the 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 guys who collect or you know trade in the secondary markets have uh, have a certain sweet spot for four roses. They, it's a tradable <laughs> commodity because of the uniqueness, right? Sure. Uh, let's say uh, you pick up this barrel here at my place. They have a buddy in you know California that can't get their hands on something like this because of how unique the flavor profiles are for four roses and their single barrels. Which, by the way. This is this was my Four Roses bill right here. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, you know, they do trades or whatever. They negotiate. And, you know, they get a Four Roses from California. They do a swap. But, um, uh, yeah, it's it, they're really, yeah, this is a whiskey that uh, when I first started getting into bourbon, I, I started with small batch. And um, it re I really, I, I'm a rye whiskey type of guy and uh i like their flavor profiles and um and the whiskey uh, the whiskey that four roses uh, puts out so okay okay well, we, so we were very happy uh, they're hard to get uh and four roses graciously uh uh gave us our first barrel uh it was last fall and um, last fall meaning fall 2020 fall of 20 i believe it was in november of 2020 okay um, okay that uh this town center market uh, barrel landed, and uh, it was uh, like I said, it tasted great and a great response from our customer customer base. Excuse me. So, <laughs> so, um, so, uh, you know, in an earlier episode, we were talking about the process with the with the makers and the barrel selection. So, so talk about the process and the four roses. Do you get to, you know, so so four roses, like you said, they're unique, right? They have two mash bills and they have five yeast strains. So they have basically 10 recipes that go into each barrel and if you're drinking regular four roses when i say regular four roses the you know the the old school in me calls it the yellow label right because right. it used to have a yellow label sure. that's all 10 recipes mixed together to make the yellow label and then they have the small batch which is six out of ten of the recipes go into the small batch then you got the small batch select here which is the same six recipes, but the honey barrels of those six recipes. It's delicious. You know, it is delicious, by the way. The small yeah. batch selects is very delicious. Um, and then you have your single barrel, which is actually going to be just one recipe, uh, one of the ten recipes. And so, so do you get to pick which recipe? You know, no. like, oh no, <laughs> uh, uh, it, it's all controlled by Four Roses okay. and. They determine distribution, distribution, and and recipes, and who's getting what exactly. Um, and uh, the R's, I guess you'll get into it a little bit more, Wesley. But this one was an OESQ. OESQ. Uh, so yours is O. So by the way, so every every barrel has a four four letter designation. Um, the O basically stands for that it was made in Kentucky. The E is the mash bill. They have two mash bills. They have a B and an E. And the E is 20% rye. And the B is 35% rye. Both of them 5% malted barley. So you make up the difference in corn there. Uh, the S basically means it's a straight whiskey distillation. And then the last one is the yeast. Secret's in the sauce, right? The secret is always in the sauce. They got five yeast strains. And you know they have a, a fruit fruit yeast strain, a spice 
V is fruit, K is spice, O is rich fruit, okay? Q is a floral essence, and then F is herbal notes, right? I don't know if I've ever had an F. Like that might, that, that would I, actually be kind of cool. Well, these three, none um, of them are Fs. None of them are Fs. So yours is an O-E-S-Q. The first one, right. So you've got, uh, so you've got what they call the bright grains, which is the 20% rye and a floral essence. And it comes in at a 56% uh, proof, right? Mm -hmm. So, so when you got it, what were you thinking? I honestly didn't know. Ahead. That was, um, <laughs> you know, some of the, uh, uh, bourbon aficionados, they say generally they're good, but sometimes, you know, there are hits and misses with any barrel pick. But right. as soon as I gave it to a couple of guys, they were like, oh my gosh, this thing <laughs> is incredible. Did and, you want some, camera guy? Okay, he's and, already got some. He's already poured his. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, this is the last little bit of, uh, the last remnant, remnant the last of, remnants of, uh, of uh, any OESQ wow. to be found in Town Center Market. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, so do you think you'll ever do another one? Oh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> we, you know, uh, it was well received. Uh, our customer base was excited to uh, get it, and um, again, uh, it is. It is really. I mean, I, uh, I've had it before, right? It was. It was. So Ted did a, a blind taste testing on me one time, you know, and I was like, come on now, you, you, why, are you, why are you gonna put me on the spot like that, you know? But I got them all right. But, test uh, your knowledge. Yeah, yeah, test my knowledge. But this Four Roses is, is really good. Yeah, it's delicious. It is delicious. So, okay, so, we, so you, you're out there in viewer land, you're probably wondering, well, if, he only, if he's only done one barrel pick of Four Roses here, why do you have three different ones out here? So, so this is yours right here. We got the O E S Q fifty six. So shall we? Which shall we talk about next? Well, so this was. This one is an O B S Q, which is I guess a high rye. It's mash a high rye mash bill with the same Q, yeast with, strain. With the Q yeast strain, and it's remarkable how different they taste. I mean, I you know it's the same yeast strain. I expect them to be somewhat similar, but. It, there's there is a distinct variation between the two. There's a higher proof as well, but it's just a different different notes altogether in in, in the wow. whiskey. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I've ever had this one. I've had this one. Um, well, let's have some now. <laughs> let's have some now. <laughs> we can do that. We can certainly do that. We are adults. So this is a 62 percent proof. And this was purchased in their gift shop in, down in Lawrenceburg. So they're in the same warehouse too. Yeah. Same warehouse, probably a little higher in the where in the in this the rickhouse. One was, this one was probably higher in the rickhouse. Yep, the the gift shop one. Yep. Okay. All right. So this all right gift shop one. Nose on it is eh, it's kind of the same. I can definitely tell. I can definitely smell the floral essence. In definitely. It when, you, when you when you when you swirl it around. This has this has more spice on it. Way more spice. I mean, I, I mean, your barrel pick has more flavor in it. It's not that I dislike this one. I, w I would just say that I like this one a little bit better. I agree. I, I um, think the spice and the heat kind of overwhelm it a little bit. Yeah. Now, there's nothing wrong with spice no, and heat. No, not know? at all. If that's your <laughs> if that's your thing, and I like spicy whiskeys, um, but uh, when, tasting one and then going to the other, you can definitely tell a difference so it's it's weird right because some people say they don't like whiskey they especially don't like high proof whiskey because it's spicy it's overpowering but you said this flew off the shelves oh flew I, I, you know for me I, I, there's got to I mean I, everyone's got a palate when it comes to whiskey but right. you know for me I like a balance right um, I think I like a um, I like something that's full and robust but um, I just don't want it to be overwhelmed by one note or, or the other. I just like yeah. a good balance to the, you know, there's something in the front and then something <laughs> residual in the back and it's just sure. and, uh, great in between. And um, I think uh, this one, I think definitely has that profile has that? to me. Interesting. Okay. So now this third one here is a barrel select, but it is a state of Maryland barrel select. Yeah. So how'd you get your hands on this one? Okay. So this came this year and by the way, this one's gone as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Can't keep four roses in the house. By the way, we've got some four roses small batch selects here, okay? Yeah. Come and pick some up. Delicious. It's, it's delicious. If, you, if you're looking for, like, if you're going to a party and you need to take a bottle of whiskey that you want to impress, 
or you're looking for a birthday gift or something like that, Four Roses Small Batch Select is on the money. It was, it was like, it's in the 65 range, 50, right? $59 plus tax. Okay, six, so plus tax is gonna be in the $65 range or whatever. Worth the money, worth all of the money. Order it online and pick it up. Order online or and pick it, it up. Or have it delivered. <laughs> <laughs> if you're within five miles uh, of the store. That's right. Okay, how'd you get your hands on this one? So this year, um, there was a, you, Maryland gets a certain allocation of uh, barrel picks from Four Roses. Okay. And f this year, the supply was squeezed tremendously. <laughs> so um, the, our distributor, who's Republic National, uh, came up with a great idea. Uh, knowing that they were going to be squeezed with Four Roses barrel picks this year, they decided to get their allotment of barrels, of barrel picks, and split it up amongst the stores who had gotten barrels in the previous year. Okay. So okay. we got much less allocation, but everyone got a little bit, which was probably the, the good thing, to, the, white, the right thing to do. Um, and uh, we were fortunate again uh, to, to be on that uh, allocation. And uh, we got this recipe from them, which I thought was very, very good as well. And that one is uh, OESK. So this is OESK. Yours was OESQ. -E so we got the same mash bill, but in, the K is the... The K is the spice. The K is the spice. And the proof on this is 57.2, 56.2 on yours. So, so an extra extra percentage of uh, <laughs> camera guy, do you want, you, you, you want some? <laughs> Kanpai. Kanpai. Say when. That's Good? <laughs> Beyond when. So we got the, the spice uh, strain on this one, yeast strain on this one. So I'm curious as to. Uh, I mean, you can always you could smell it. You can get it in the nose already, right? You can, you can, you can. Whoa. There's definitely more more spice forward on this one than there was on yours. Yours yours had the spice on the back end. This has the spice right on, on the, the front, front end. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the mash bill, right? But I don't know. Like I. Like anyone that watches the whiskey bottle, right? You know, I'm into higher proof, you know, hit you, uh, you know, I'm into the higher proof whiskeys. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, yours is good. This one might, it, you know, like I, I wouldn't be upset if I got this one instead of yours. Right. right? No, I, mean, I agree. You know, I mean, but, uh, state of Maryland did a good, the state of Maryland did a good job picking its own barrel picks or receiving what was selected for them. Rece that's the latter, right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Receiving what was selected for them, but glad you could get a hold now. So so this one flew off the shelves too, you're saying? It did. It went, well, I, I kind of, knowing that I was a very, had a very limited amount, I, I did, really didn't put any out. I just saved it for, you know. For your special peeps. Special customers, yes. Special peeps. Yeah. Oh, so, um, okay, so you, you didn't get to really pick this one. It was just bestowed upon you, uh, unlike the other barrel picks that you've done. But how many bottles, I mean, they flew off the shelves, right? So how many bottles are we talking about? How many bottles did this yield? Uh, it was about 140, 145, somewhere in that 145? range. 145? Yeah. So, so on the makers that we were talking about before, how many bottles did that yield? 200 some. Oh, two, wow. 200 and but that was actually but that was also a lower proof too it so. was a lower proof so, so less, the yield was a little higher less yeah. angel share less angel share yeah, more yeah. in the bottle which is a good thing yeah yeah, yeah you know yeah it, hey angels we love <laughs> angels but keep your hands off all my whiskey okay i'm just saying keep your hands off all my whiskey so 145 bottles flew off the shelf i was fortunate enough to get one before they all flew off the shelf um so yeah, so so you said you would you would do a four roses again if if if, if they'll have me absolutely if they'll have you <laughs> yeah. if they'll have you yeah, yes we would love to do a four roses barrel pick so, once again sure. have you so so um, oh yeah so you, I was gonna say did you get to go to Kentucky uh, to do uh, you know Wesley that's the thing uh, that's the next step in my um, <laughs> bourbon uh, adventure or journey um, uh, we. I've only had spirits since 2016 in my store. Uh, we were a beer and wine store much, much longer than we were ever a, a spirit shop. Sure. Um, and, um, you know, I'm catching up 
Uh, and, and, and Doing a good job catching that, up, by Thank the way. you, in the spirits world. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, 2000, I guess, realistically, we had spirits for an entire year, 2017. Um, so getting up and running, getting it established, understanding the landscape, those types of things took a little bit of work. And by the time I settled down to say, okay, I want to do barrel picks in 2019, you know, <laughs> well, you know, I, I got a couple in, I want to go down to Kentucky, and then, you know, COVID hits. And, sure, sure. And it kind of restricted things. But... The distillers, to their credit, got resourceful like everyone else has in this uh, industry to figure out the best way to get these things to us and to our customers. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so in January, I do have a, tra a pl uh, trip planned to Kentucky oh. to hit a few distillers and pick a few barrels of my own. Really? Yeah. Nice, nice. To so, be announced at a later date. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> Announcing them at a later date. Hopefully we can get the exclusive. Uh, so I've actually been to the Four Roses Distillery in Kentucky. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I sat through the whole thing, heard the history and everything. Um, we, uh, Me and a bunch of friends went at Christmas time, right? So, you know, it was all decorated and everything. And Four Roses is very... You know, they're unique with the yeast strains and everything, but they're, you know, you don't see them pushing their stuff a lot, right? No. Like, they don't have a lot of commercials or whatever. Like, if you know Four Roses, you know Four Roses, and if you don't, you're missing out. But, like, they're they're happy sort of in the space that they're in. I was really happy they came out with this, Yeah, it was a great concept. Really happy that they came out with this. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, ge it gives more of their high-end products it gets it back on the shelf and it's not held back and reserved for like for barrel picks and those types of things. Right, right. It gets their product in the, in the customer's hands more regularly. I have it front and center in my store. And you, like you said earlier, I always push that, that whiskey on people if they've never had it. Yeah. It's delicious. It is. It's very delicious. I was, uh, I was at a bar in the Bay Area, California, and um, <laughs> they were selling Blanton's. They were selling a pour of Blanton's and a pour of this for the same price. And I was like, okay, okay. You're selling a pour of Four Roses at the same price as you're selling a pour of Blanton's? I was like, I gotta taste this, I gotta taste this. And then I understood why they were selling it at the same price. I was like, oh, this is really good. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go to my, my local liquor store. You know, when they first started distributing this, it was only five states. Right. It was Texas, California, Kentucky, of course, Georgia, and I feel like Maryland might have been might have been the fifth state. Uh, no, it wasn't the fifth state. California, Texas, Georgia, Kentucky, New York. New York was the fifth state, and then Maryland has come on since then. Um, but but I'm glad it's here because I can get it now. I don't have to go all the way to California or Texas to yeah. pick it up. But um, but yeah. But anyway, okay. Anything else we want to say about Four Roses? <laughs> uh, no, um, I, I, that will be on my trip when I go down. You're going, you're going in, you're going in <laughs> yeah. January. Yeah. Look out, world! He's going to Four <laughs> Roses in January 2022, and uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have another Town Center Market Four Roses barrel pick. Hopefully. But for now, we'll just enjoy it. Well, you guys won't enjoy it because there's no more of them left for you to buy. I will enjoy it because I still have some in my house, you know. Um, but until then, thank you for watching The Whiskey Butler. Please like, share, subscribe. Click the bell when you subscribe. And uh, talk to your friends about this. And we'll catch you the next time on The Whiskey Butler. Thanks for watching.